All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Stood outside a Piper Arrow because today, going on a cross-country flight from Orlando to Jacksonville, it's just about over 100 nautical miles. Why am I doing this? Because I'm not with a student today. Well, for my ATP, well, for my ATP minimums, I need to get That's, that's not gonna work because I want to do the thing inside, don't I? <laughs> so I gotta do this again, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> if you saw the intro and wondering what's going on, what that intro is about, let me explain. Recently, I received an email from a sunglasses eyewear company called Gresso. In the email, they mentioned that uh, they think that they've got a product that my people that watch my channel would enjoy. They said, um, I want to send you some sunglasses so you can show your people and, uh, and see what they think. So I said, Send them over. So here we are. That was what that intro was about. So they've sent these. I don't usually wear aviators, but I've got to admit, I do like these. The lightweight and uh, feel comfortable on the face. I'm interested to see how they work with the uh, with the headset. If I can put the headset over the uh, the side arm here, or it has to, still has to go above because it's uncomfortable. But we'll see. They seem lightweight. But anyway, Piper Arrow. Let's go and fly. Yeah, he's here. They're on final. I see nobody out there. Boiling. It is. Let's get in the sky. Yeah. You want to say the catchphrase today? You nope, know. you wouldn't hear me dead saying it. Ooh. You're hard. Showing off. Alright, we've got runway 7 on the ground. We've got 7 around here. we got 7 there. Heels are to the floor. No more. Brakes. Full power. Ooh. Feel that pull. Yeah. Alrighty, airspeed's alive, 60, 70, we'll rotate there. Welcome to the sky. Accelerate a little bit here, no more runway remaining, gear's coming up, gear is in transition. Yeah, f sake, um, I'm more worried about that. Oh! What do you think? It's your decision, there's a PIC obviously, yeah. uh, you understand these planes better than I do. I would say the pressure is purely down to the fact that we're running at a high RPM. Uh, we'll see. More mild. That's... Wait, zero golf. Runway 7, clear to land, wind I'm not, I'm not really too happy about it because if it is an oil pressure issue that's going to affect the prop, that's obviously going to affect the engine. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go down. 
And he's exited uh, one two G Lake. Can we actually uh, re-enter the downwind and come in for uh, landing? We got uh, slightly higher oil pressure. One two G Lake, rising to the left downwind for runway seven. Left downwind for seven one two G Lake. Uh, just. It's on the edge. It's on the edge. Exactly. It's on the edge. 447 ILS 7. End of the day. I'd rather not go on a cross country. Yeah, it's too far to do it. Too far to go with that. Yeah. Alright, continue zero. Everyone, one, two, Julek, number two, from high Skyhawk, only two mile final port in sight, 1,000 feet. Roger, looking uh, for traffic, one, two, Julek. Sight. Nice. Traffic's in sight, one, two, Julek. Number one, two, Julek, Roger, number two, runway seven, clear to land, wind, one, three, zero, at five. Roger, number two, clear the line, one, two, Julia. All right, we'll go to the gears coming down. Cherokee. All right, one notch. Bring it down, this thing drops. Right, in All right, props full, mixture's full. We got uh, three lights down and locked. No one's on final. Gonna bring it in at about 75 knots or so. <coughs> Otherwise known as full power. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three green. Alright, we've got 75. Still wants the f***ing okay. drop away from me. Full flaps, mixture, props, gears are down, final check. So much power in, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Alright, cool. Hold it off. She's down, could you get the brakes for me? <laughs> One two Juliet, the fable turn left at Alpha Five, contact ground point four and off. Alpha uh, Alpha Five over the ground. The one two Juliet, thanks for that. No problem. Yeah, you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, that's a shame. Let's debrief. What happened was we got into the sky and I noticed that the oil pressure gauge was reading quite high, higher than higher than the normal. Obviously, there's a green uh, uh, part on the gauge that shows you it's in the normal operating range. Um, and it was outside of that. So could have been a case of uh, temperature being low because this was the first flight of the day or first flight in a few days actually. Temperature was low so the pressure was high because they play against each other. But I wasn't prepared to you know, continue the flight uh, with the oil pressure showing that. Um, so in no way was this an emergency, in no way was this a stressful situation. For me, I, I like the fact that uh, I kind of brought it down because I'm not comfortable with it. And that's essentially what it comes down to. So. I've already spoken with the owner. The owner of it is actually an instrument student of mine who you've not met yet. You will meet him. He's already uh, taken the necessary steps to, uh, to get this, uh, this plane back in the sky. So I will be flying this thing again. Okay. At least the, the sunglasses uh, worked out well. Put the headset on, couldn't feel the, uh, the arm on the side of my head like I can with my uh, normal Oakleys that I wear. I usually have to wear the, with, the, with the arm going over the top of the ear cup, which looks stupid, but it's comfortable. But these are really nice, so I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for Gresso, so you can go and have a look at what products they've got. But uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Shame we couldn't see Otto more, but, oh well, gotta be safe. Thanks for watching.